Brian again. I want to thank everyone for their support on the first episode of Snake Bites. You know, it's been going fantastic. You know, Snake Bites is an idea that's been in the works for quite some time now, and it's all about the entire reptile community. And you know, when you breed snakes, it's all about snake shows and snake expos. Last September, we were in Anaheim for the NARBC show, and that's when we really filmed our first stuff. So while we're getting this Snake Bites stuff rolling, I want to show you what we first made. Here we are in Anaheim, California. We're at the show, the big show for the weekend. We're gonna go ahead and walk around the show and see some of the other highlights here, see some of the cool, the rare animals, and just kind of the really neat stuff. So, you know, let's go take a tour. We're here with Dave Barker from BPI, uh, one of the premier people. He's a great author, great reptile collection, and uh, we're going to see some cool animals that he's working with. So. This is a, a yearling caramel albino, and they're just a, they're just a nice boa constrictor that has a mutation so that they're missing brown. They got a, they got some black, they got their yellows, they got their pinks and their oranges, but they just don't have any brown. It's the anti ugly gene. Actually, this is quite a rare snake here. We just have uh, had some luck breeding the uh, caramel albino black blood or the caramel albino Sumatran python. These things have red eyes, red retinas, and they've just got a lot of color in them. And, and the normal color phase is almost a solid black snake. But there's just something about the symmetry of snakes. And so I think my primary attraction to snakes is and was visual. I, I like what they look like. I like how the scales fit on the body. I like the colors. All right, we're here at Prehistoric Pets. They're a huge shop here in the Anaheim, LA area. This is Jay Vila, the owner. He, he really specializes in rare animals. We like big snakes, so we feed them a little extra. They probably wouldn't be quite that big if it wasn't for a few extra meals. Gosh, this snake is just an albino reticulated python. And my guy, it's probably about 150 pounds. This thing is huge, it weighs a ton, and it's just 100% muscle. One of the things I really want to say about these green tree pythons, they have a bad, bad reputation for being hard to handle snakes. And I would really like to dispel that and share that these beautiful pieces of art, if you take them off their perches gently, are exactly that beautiful pieces of art and how can a person not fall in love with a beautiful animal like this he's not happy but he's not biting the snakes are really cool animals and nobody else not a lot of people like them I just sit and look at them. They're, they're, uh, uh, they're, to me, they're just beautiful works of art. Okay, everyone, hey, that's it. That's the first stuff that we ever shot for snake bites, you know? And from me, my boy Blue here, my Savannah monitor, and the whole crew here, we want to thank you for all the support that you've given us on the first episode of Snake Bites. It's been fantastic. But you know what? This show is about you, too, so we want you to be a part of it. You know, this show is all about the community. So, you know, send us in your comments, your pictures, your videos, and we'll try to make them a part of a future episode. Shoot me an email at snakebitestv at gmail.com, and next week, we're going to give you a tour of our shop. I'll see you then.